CNN got raided, um, and it was for... Oh, it was so good. I love it. Okay, they were raided by the FCC, the uh, Federal Communications Commission, and this was in their Atlanta headquarters, okay? And this was right at the time when we get the letter to, Ki to Christopher Wray from, um, from Senator Johnson saying, we want to know, right? This is the whole, you know, Spygate situation. We want to know exactly when CNN uh, was contacted by the FBI. What, what happened there? How did this go on in preparation for the dossier being released? And uh, we want to know a bunch of stuff about CNN. And all, we, want, we want the emails. We want to see what went on. And it turns out that uh, just as that was going in, they raided CNN in Atlanta. And they took hard drives. Ha ha. They took um, uh, data. Uh, they took documents. And they specifically took data related to um, uh, source information their sources, source data. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha ha. So this is so great. I get so excited because it's like they want to know who the sources are that we're giving them this false information. And also on top of that, uh, <clears throat> we have CNN just constantly lying every single day, right? It's not, there's, there isn't even anything real that they say whatsoever. Uh, once in a while lately, they've thrown in a few like less uh, offensive things into their broadcasts. But, you know, when you look at these people having meltdowns constantly saying, oh, Trump's a liar, Trump's this, this person's lying, it's all baloney, Spygate is such a baloney. This sitting there saying that, it's not news whatsoever. They're literally just saying, like, not... They have no, they have no evidence to support what they're saying, but they just spout it off constantly. And they're going to get in trouble. And I'm really excited about it. This is such amazing news, okay? People will say, oh, it's freedom of speech. You can't, you know, you can't go in and, you know, raid the offices. No, this is blatant. What the FCC is saying, this rigging the news is the most heinous act against the public interest. And that's exactly the case. The most heinous act. Okay, so if they go in and if they just literally lie to us day after day after day, they deserve to get prosecuted for what they are doing to the American public. Uh, this is blatant lies. Okay, and they also raided uh, MSNBC and the Associated Press. All right, this is so exciting. Okay, and again, with MSNBC and Associated Press, this is, wi this is for printing of blatant lies. Ha <laughs> ha and stories that require immediate retraction. So you know it's wrong, you know it's not, you know, valid, and that it's a lie, but you go ahead and print it, and then, oh, and you, you, you blow it up out of the water, right? Just blow it up, and then you come back and give it a tiny little retraction, just say, oh, that maybe wasn't quite accurate. And um, meanwhile, everybody's thinking, no, the first thing you said is all I'm thinking about, and the retraction is kind of like wishy-washy. So this is very exciting, okay? So violation of press guidelines, including publishing and promotion of blatantly false information designed to deceive the American public. This is great. And what are they going to find on those servers, folks? You know they're going to find a lot of stuff because this is Mockingbird Media, especially CNN and MSNBC, all of them. And Mockingbird Media is the CIA... Uh, media. They are paid by the CIA. They're on the payroll. They're, they're put in there. This is all already known. And the fact that people continue to watch them knowing that they are literally paid by the intelligence agencies and given the scripts, right? In the, in the Q materials, um, we hear that it's always, they get the, they get the stories at 4 a.m., right? And they're given out to the different reporters who are on the payroll and then they all go with the story, right? And that's why you see these great things on YouTube where somebody will put up a video to show that, um, like, you know, 800 stations all had the exact same line, the exact same phrasing for a story, you know, the exact same thing, and the story is always something, like, super not true. So this is awesome news, folks. Uh, we're going to take down the Mockingbird Media, and later I'm going to get into uh, Gannett and the association called Gannett. Uh, this is gets into deeper, deeper into the the rabbit hole around uh, Mockingbird Media and its connections to a broader, more nefarious situation. So we'll get with we'll get with that later.